yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. What's going on? Lockout men in the truck. What's going on, y'all? I'm just getting this podcast ready for you. You know what I'm saying? This new segment that I that I just started with uh, Dial Face Trucker, you know. I was on her uh, her live feed, and um, and I decided to respond to some of the comments that was on her live feed. And I was like, huh, I liked it so much. You know, I released it, and I got some positive feedback and uh, some positive views from it. So I thought I'd keep it going. I thought I'd keep it going. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What's up, guys? Locked out, man. In the truck on the 30 for this podcast for this morning. Yes, it is early, early morning. I had this, I had this on my mind all day yesterday. I wanted to do it yesterday. Y'all hear that ticking noise? Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit loud. You know what I'm saying? The, the truck is running and the, the air's on and all like that. So I probably might have to denoise some of this in post, but it's all good. But as I was saying, I had a whole bunch of positive feedback on um, on my responding to the comments in uh, Dial Face Truckers uh, video. So now I decided to make this into uh, a series. You know what I'm saying? I I thought it would be a good idea to do it because, you know, some people ask, you know, when they in the comment session, they do ask, you know, for advice or, you know, just ask about what's going on or something like that. And maybe I might have something to feed into uh, into what they're asking. So let's do it. Let's continue to do this. So. On today's uh, podcast, responding to comments, I jumped on Junior Hun. I can never pronounce this man's last name. Honduras. It's not Hernandez. It's Honduras. All right. So this uh, video that he did was showers doing training i mean doing uh, truck driver training who is responsible and that is a very good topic he he talked about uh from a trainer's point of view and from a trainee point of view and who is responsible who should if you if you're a trainee coming on a on a trainer's truck and i think that if you yourself need to ask who is responsible for keeping yourself clean, I do not know how to answer that question. I mean, when I when I was training, I really didn't know, you know, how to how I was going to shower, where I was going to shower, and when I was going to shower. You know what I'm saying? I knew I had to keep my butt clean. You know what I'm saying? I knew I had to keep my butt clean. But the trainer, the first trainer that I had, he was not all that gravy or something like that. But luckily for me, he was the one that kind of told me like, yo, you know, when we get to these truck stops, make sure you get these uh, reward cards. And I'm like, reward cards? What, I, what we do with these reward cards? And he was telling me that, you know, loves Petro. Uh, Flying J's, uh, you know, the top major, uh, the top major fueling stations, those are the ones that have, you know, reward cars. You get those and, you know, you fill up every 50 gallons at Love's, you get a free shower. You fill up every 60 gallons at, uh, at Petro, uh, Petro and TAs, you get a free shower. And I think it's 50 gallons at Flying J's and Pilots too. But the special thing about uh about Flying J's and Pilots because I don't mess with Petro all like that is that you go in well, with loves with Flying J's and Petros, you can collect every every time you fill up, you can collect your showers and all like that with loves if you get a tier they they work on a tier program so they're platinum they're platinum tiers and they're diamond tiers your showers is unlimited 
you can get a free shower as long as you get in a get a platinum tier or a or a diamond tier your showers is unlimited and you could just take how many showers it is me i'm a diamond tier being that i use loves for fueling a lot not only that i use the you know use the diamond tier status of of showers i also use that as a private you know a private poop session you know what i'm saying when i have to go and poop or something like that and i don't want to be in a i don't want to be in the general population because you know when you go in the gym pop you know you got all the other guys in it and then you hear the aftermath and all like that and it's kind of like oh man i need to be by myself so i i use my i use my tear shower tears and go in and 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 take a private poop while i'm on the subject of loves and their showers if you download the loves app right here if you download the loves app you can you can get a shower you can set yourself a shower you can set yourself a shower from from the app so you don't even have to you don't even have to go into the store and and and, and you know purchase a shower or something like that you could just go you can go right from your app in your truck you set it up go in and just bypass all that and just go straight to your shower you might want to grab a couple of extra towels on the way like i do i'm just saying but um but truck driver training who's responsible you should be responsible for real you should be responsible for when you need to take a shower now if if you with a trainer that's like a lease driver and of course his mind is going to be on his money so the faster that he can get it to the delivery the faster he can go to the next low the faster you know the more money he can make i don't think some some lease drivers aren't that good of a hygiene i'm just saying at least at least mine wasn't when i was rolling with him i literally had to tell him like look bro uh, when we go to when we go to fuel right quick, I'm gonna I'm gonna take me a quick uh, 20 minute, uh, not even 20. It, it don't even take me 20 minutes. Now women, on the other hand, yeah maybe, but me a quick 10 minute shower. You know, jump in the shower, get some water on his body, and then come on out, and I need to smell fresh. Now there are times that you're not able to be at one of the major uh, major places and you still need to freshen up, jump on and get you some baby wipes. You know what I'm saying? Now the baby wipes is not gonna be the end all be all. You still need to get some water on that ass. I'm just saying, I am just saying, I'm not saying too much though. But, um, but yeah, but in Junior Hernandez video, you see, there I go, Hernandez. Junior Honduras video, you know, he was saying, you know, you should make a plan. You should get, you and that trainer should make a, should make arrangements on when and, and on when you should take a shower. Me, I say the average. Now, some drivers like to take showers every day. And that's good. That's good. Some drivers like myself, maybe three times out of the week. You know what I'm saying? But I still get a chance to wash up, brush my teeth and all that good stuff. But, you know, if you want to take a shower or something like that, some do three times out of the week, some do two times out of the week. You know what I'm saying? Depending on depending on your situation with your trainer. So make sure that you guys, when y'all come in to training, make sure that you come together and say, yo, this is what, I, you know, when is we going to take our showers? Is it going to be in the morning when we get up and go? Or is it going to be in the evening when we, when we sit down and park? You know what I'm saying? and just find out now being that you're not going to have no shower credits um the trainer should have shower credits for two of y'all you can get a team shower that means that y'all don't get a shower together you know what i'm saying y'all nah, not that y'all don't get a shower together but you will get a shower and he will get a shower on his one shower credit so the trainer should not be stingy with his uh, with his sour credits. I'm I'm just not sure. Depending on what trainer that you're gonna get, 
but still that trainer should be able to get you a shower and him a shower on one shower credit and listen let me tell you this now i'm i'm on the trainer side if a trainer decides to stop and get a shower right then and there that's when you get a shower right then and there don't just sit your ass in the truck and be like oh okay you about to take a shower bro i'll wait I, I, i'll wait okay i'll wait i'm all right okay i'm good i'll wait nah nah bro you get your ass out and get a shower too you know what i'm saying because ain't no telling how the trainer is going to feel about you after you just waited you know for him to finish up his shower and then y'all rolling and you smelling like booty on a fucking stick right now you know what i'm saying i'm just saying i am just saying all right so let's jump into it right quick let's jump into it uh uh let's see hold on i'm about to find it all right matt trucker max says in other words, wash your funky ass. What's up, Junior? Yeah, Mad Trucker, you right, man. Wash your funky ass. I mean, whenever you get a chance to wash or get a chance to take a shower, you take that shower, bruh. You take that shower. You don't mess around. You don't wait. You don't, you don't, you don't. Because two people in the truck, body odor, if y'all don't take no shower and and body odor just just fills up the truck it's not gonna make for a, a happy commute and let me tell you something okay hold on this right here body deodorant is not a replacement i'm just saying this is not a replacement for taking the shower get up and take a shower bruh reese or re b says I had two trainers, problem with the first with the first guy, but the second was surprised. I didn't have fuel cards, so he got me hooked up with the with the card. That way we can each shower, we each have a shower available to us. We still got team showers, but there if there's an issue, you don't you have the ability you have the ability yourself. Don't be stingy with the fuel points. You're right. Don't don't be stingy, uh, trainers, with your fuel points. I mean, you get team showers. So it's not like, you know, you have to give up your points to to get this uh to get your trainee a shower. You know what I'm saying? You get two showers for the price of one when you get a team shower. All right. So so yeah don't don't be stingy man but it's always good to have your own car too now being that the truck is tied to the the trainer you know the trainer is going to always want his points but you might luck up and get with a trainer that might let you use his calm data card or his efs card and let you fuel and get the points on your card so you know you can you can get a shower or whatever but don't be stingy that's why i say you all two got to come together and and make a plan get a situ get get a situation going on w when and and how we gonna do our 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 showers you know aia or a or al a says once met once met up with a worker to help out in waxing the floors in a big commercial factory he was a hard worker but he wears the same clothes by by how he smelled maybe the clothes clothes were for two weeks if you get within two feet and breathe literally you just felt like vomiting yeah i you know sometimes you know, sometimes people like to wear the same clothes. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, sometimes I will go into a Love's and wash up and I, I will wear, you know, the same T-shirt, you know, maybe the same pair of jeans or something like that. But not, you know, not every day. Not every day. You got you to gotta change up 
every day, you know, you gotta change up somewhere. You know what I'm saying? At, at least after you get fresh anyway. After you take a shower, definitely change in, the, in, in some new gear. You know what I'm saying? In some, in some fresh gear. You don't wanna put the gear that you had on two days ago after you shower. It's just, I don't know. It's just not, just not kosher. Kenneth Burgess says, when I was in training, I wasn't allowed to get a loves card, TA, or a pilot card until I was on my own. My trainer pumped fuel and I used his points cards, but always covered the shot. Wait, I used his points card, but always covered the showers. I guess what he means that he wasn't able to, he wasn't able to use his, uh, he wasn't able to get a card and i don't understand why you wasn't able to get a card bro you should get a card you know you walk in fill out the have the uh have the sales clerk fill out the paperwork for you and boom you have a card don't let a trainer don't let a trainer says oh well you can't get a card yet until you get your own truck no nah, you can get a card now <laughs> you can get a card now bump waiting you don't have to wait for wait until you get your own truck you get your car on card now you set it up uh ta ta you fill it out they'll give you a paper card and they'll mail you one in the mail that's i'm not too fond of tas and petros but they do got the best showers they do got the best showers though but pilots flying jet well pilot and flying jet you can use the same card at both places and then loves there shouldn't be any any type of reason why you shouldn't be able to get your own car when you come out here on the road. So don't let a trainer tell you that. I don't understand why, but no, nah, no, nah, that's not that's not feasible. When you get to that first fuel station, that's when you get your first car, right then and there. Uh, uh I'm I'm not sure. Ro Rolio, Rogio Estrada. I'm just going to say Estrada. What's going on, bro? He says, I didn't even bother taking showers. I would just buy some sanitary wipes and deodorant. Worked just as well. Bruh, I don't know where you came from, <laughs> okay? But you have to take a shower once in a while, B. I mean, the baby wipes work, you know, and it's only for a temporary measure, okay? Okay. You know, baby wipes only works in places where you're not able to take a shower, all right? It don't replace the shower. I'm just saying, it's, it's not, it don't replace showers, man. So you need to get up, get up out that truck and take a shower somewhere. Go to a Love's, Petro, TA, a, a, a mom and pops. A mom and pops place got, got showers too, I'm just saying. They got showers also. So, you know, I'm telling you, once again, once again, this is not a replacement for a shower. I'm just saying, you know, so I don't know, bruh. I don't know. Justin Goodwin says, I try to time up where I take my showers on my 30 minute break every day. Hit the pilot middle of the day when it's not so busy and I can usually get my shower and grab a meal in about 40 minutes or so. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect, that is perfect. Uh, during early mornings, here's the best times to get a, to get a shower in, and, this, and this, is on, it, this works for me. Early mornings, when you, you know, like when you first get up in the morning, so early mornings, it's not busy, and in the middle of the, in the, middle of the day, definitely not it's not busy in the middle of the day you will see like at some loves you'll see maybe about three four available showers but if you pull in at night you know like before you shut down then yeah there's been places that the line for a shower for the wait for the shower is like 30 35 minutes 40 45 minutes damn near an hour to wait for a shower and i'm like Nah, man, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stand in line and wait for a shower because some of them guys, some of them guys, be in them showers for a long ass 
time, especially if they're in there with their girl. So you know what they doing if they if if his girl is in there with him. So you're gonna have to wait. <laughs> so, but the the good times will be like early in the morning when you uh when you start your day, and mid mid afternoon to like middle evening will be a perfect time to get a shower in. All right, um, yeah, G Robles R O B. L E S. He says, if you take a shit every day, you should shower every day. Plain and simple. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, I think I like that analogy, bro. I think I like that. If you, if you do take a shit every day, then you should be able to shower every day. Especially, like I said before, I take a private poop. You know what I'm saying? I will go. You know, I, I take medicine, and when my medicine works, yeah. I gotta, I gotta let it go. So, if you, if you could t take a poop every day and use, and use a private poop, then yeah, you could go ahead and take a quick shower every day. Plain and simple. USMC zero three one one says, I took showers with my trainer to save money. Watch each, wash each other's backs in front, bro. You just being funny, man. You just being funny. You you can't be serious, and it. And I hope that you're not serious. You you just being funny. I think you're a, I think you're a troll. Okay, I think you're a troll. Just trying to be funny. All right. Uh, this one right here, I cannot pronounce your name, so I'm just gonna call you son. He says, "May I add that many of us student drivers are living paycheck to paycheck for the first few months." My other trainer with my previous company I was with before coming to Prime was always had unlimited showers, no more than every two days. Perfect. You you if you with loves and you have a loves rewards card, then yes, you will have unlimited showers if you have if you're in the diamond tier or if you're in the uh, in the platinum tier. If you're in either one of those tiers, your showers, your shower credits will be uh will be unlimited. See this this is what it looks like right there. I don't know if I can get it in. But if you can see it, that's what it looks like right there. It says diamond for the showers and diamond for for uh for drinks. So if you have your own cup, you can get free refills at the uh at the loves. And every two days every every no more than two days yeah like i said no you know like i said some drivers go uh let's say every two days every three days every other day however you want to do it you know what i'm saying you got to get that shower in to get fresh man i'm just saying i'm just saying eric soul says if drivers have to stop in eight hours in eight hours of driving for 30 minutes take a shower in that 30 minute break yeah yeah we we do got to stop for uh for 30 minutes but you know you 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 can you can take a shower as well as taking you know getting something to eat now some drivers you know they they don't drive the full eight hours some breaks it up like myself I will drive maybe like four hours and then pull over and take about 10, take about 10, 15 minutes and then get back on the road. And then after after that four hours, I'll take about another 10, 15 minutes. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes it's broken up like that. But if you got drivers out there that do drive the full eight hours and you feel that you haven't got a shower in. Yeah, go ahead and get a shower in. Like I said, during the day is not that busy. So. Let's see. Wealthy, wealthy in time says, I believe truckers should shower every 24 to 36 hours, not for personal hygiene reasons, but to but also to portray a positive image of what a truck driver should be. I am so used to taking a shower every day and sometimes two a day. That's when I went out with a trainer. Wait, that's when I went out with a trainer. I felt so dirty because we only showered every two days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
if you're at home, of course, you know, you got more, much more accessible to your, you know, to your, to your bathroom than anybody else. You know, you'll be able to wash up every day, maybe, maybe shower every day, maybe two times a day, maybe once when you go to work and then when you come back home, you take another shower to relax or, you know, you take a bath to relax. You got that, you, 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 you got that, that, that pleasure right there unfortunately the pleasure doesn't extend to being out in this truck every day you know what i'm saying maybe you know maybe if you can discipline yourself to take a shower first thing in the morning and then when you shut down at in the evening you can take another shower at night but as i said before in the morning is not that busy but when you shut down at night you got a damn near hour wait for for uh for a shower now depending on what time you shut down at night like if you shut down at like maybe anywhere between five six and seven then yeah the showers is going to be busy around that time but if you shut down at about one or at about 12 one o'clock in the morning it's it's not going to be it's not going to be that busy either all right it's not going to be that busy either uh Waldor Sockback says, I tried to get a job at Prime here in California. I am an experienced driver, but the recruiter at Prime was so rude. I decided not to work there. She was so condescending. Well, I don't know why that has anything to do with showers, but yeah, I mean, you know, you just when you talk to some of these recruiters, they can be a little, you know, a little on the rude side. I, I have talked to a few of them that that are very rude. Um, maybe maybe she just, you know, just maybe you was just asking so many questions that she just didn't felt like uh, asking or maybe, you know, some of these some of these recruiters. All right. You guys got to understand some of these recruiters work on commission you know what i'm saying so if they get a sense of you not wanting to come to the company or you just asking questions about the company then their their attention to you is pretty much going to be cut off so any legitimate questions that you may have you might want to get it off in the first five minutes of the conversation you know what i'm saying because if if you don't then after that five minutes of the conversation and you feel that they're not interested in you or or the recruiters feel that they're not interested, that you're not in, or that you is only interested in just asking questions, then the important question that you might have, you might not get answered. All right. So, yeah, don't excuse me. Don't let that stop you uh, and definitely ask questions, uh, Waldor. Waldor? Waldor. Yeah, may definitely ask your questions, man, because when when you come in, you you you're going to need to know. Period. You need to know. DJ Pond says, "Hey Junior, been a while." Wait, it's "Hey Junior, been a while, but it's but but this is a good topic because I had a trainer around when I first started." and never took a shower until he had to take me back to the terminal did i mention we were out two weeks but i showered five times only because i had to tell him hey i don't know how you roll but i need to be clean laugh out loud his truck had a smell as well but i'm but i'm glad i didn't have to go through that anymore but salute and safe travels bruh mm. two weeks and in the body odor uh, look if you have to if you really have to tell a grown man that your body odor stinks then it's something wrong with him it, it's something wrong with him and you just need to be like look bruh this is not going to work uh take me back to the terminal and get me up out of here it's just this this is just not going to work for me man it's just not. So when you guys get, you know, when you guys get trainers like that, that just don't shower at all. And I'm sure that the smell of the truck is going to be bothersome. That first week, get me back. I'll go with somebody else. 
No hippie trucking and transportation. Let me make sure. All right. No hippie trucking and transportation says some trainees don't have the confidence to ask trainers those questions. Also don't have the money to pay for their own showers. One trainee told me that his trainer wouldn't get team showers even though it's the same price at most places. My trainer allowed me to fuel, so I was all so I so I always had credits and the ability to stop at a truck stop if I want to take I mean if I want to stop for a shower time I mean for a shower time permitting for a shower if time permitting uh well that's why I said you you should get your own cards whatever whenever you stop you should get your own, you should have your own loves you should have your own petro you should have your own flying j and pilots you should have your own cards so when a trainer like when you run into a trainer like that and he has be like hey well i'll let you go ahead and fuel so you can get your points i i, I don't want to use my card excuse me i don't want to use my car for uh for you know a team shower even though that once you one point one shower credit equals two showers for a team i don't get it especially if you guys go in at the same time i don't understand why the trainer wouldn't want to 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 get you a shower you know what i'm saying that's funny like that but if you get your own cards that'll keep all the confusion down and be like look i'll get my own you know i'll let you you know like y'all y'all figure out that's where that's where the plan comes in at like if you have your own card you'll figure out who's gonna fuel and so forth you know what i'm saying okay i'll fuel this one day and then you'll fuel the next i'll fuel the one day and you'll fuel the next then that means once you get about 50 gallons on your air for every it's not just 50 gallons for every 50 gallons you get a shower credit so if you fill up 50 gallons one day and don't use that credit then it's on it's it'll roll over to the next time you fill uh, i mean fill 50 gallons and then you'll have two credits so forth and so on so that's where the plan between you and the tra you and your trainer comes into play when y'all figuring out who will fuel especially if you have your own fuel card you know what i'm saying so so yeah i i you know the confidence well he said they don't have confidence to ask a ask a trainer no you get confidence that's where you're gonna you're gonna be with that guy for for days on end y'all gonna be sleeping in the same bunk well not in the same bunk but y'all gonna be sleeping in the same area get that confidence up to ask him everything you need to know don't just don't just be scared don't just be that get that confidence so you can ask him including when and where we're going to take showers at get that confidence up and yeah money you will be living you know day to day so that's another suggestion that i says that you should bring you should have at least enough money to cover you for the time that you're going to be out on the road i suggest maybe about brain I said I suggest bring about five hundred dollars. Save five hundred dollars so you'll know that that five hundred dollars will last you at least if you do it right, it will last you three weeks or four weeks if you do it right. So you will never be in the situation where you will have to literally ask a trainer for help other than help in driving the truck. All right and the last comment is vita Mosselin. they say you are right we should we shouldn't have to pay for a shower as much as we spend in those truck stops and i agree it is the trainer responsibility to make sure shower is available for their student i mean for their students good video yeah i mean i mean well it doesn't necessarily has to be the trainer's responsibility you know what i'm saying it really don't the responsibility lies on the trainee for when for when 
for when he needs to take a shower. My thing is this, when the trainer goes in to take a shower, that's when the trainee goes in and take a shower. It's, it's, it's the trainee's responsibility to keep his own butt washed, not the trainer's. Now, like I said, some trainers, some trainers want to be dicks and not help you out as far as get in the shower but if if you're training if you're training with the if you're training with a trainer he should be able to hook you up with a shower as i said before throughout this video one credit equals two showers for a team i'm just saying i'm just saying um and what he said about the trust stops we shouldn't have to pay well yeah maybe maybe not i mean maybe we shouldn't have to pay but that's that's how the trust stops us making their money now they they looking they they looking for ways to get additional revenue because let them tell it they're not making money from from the fuel all right they they just not making no money from the fuel so they looking for additional revenue and um and for for us to pay for showers and pay for parking yeah that's it's it's a theme now it's not going to change it it only is it only going to get worse before it get better you know what i'm saying we can all complain about it but if it is it going to ever change no nah, because what they going to do they're going to just tell us right off the rip hey we we need the money and we got to find ways of uh of making it so Back in the day, you know, back in the day, yeah, the showers was free. It was a courtesy, you know, they, they offered it as a courtesy to drivers. You know what I'm saying? The food was good back in the day. I mean, think about it. That's that's why, that's why right now, since I'm ending it, right now, I want to send an invite to all old school truckers. Any truckers that drove during the 70s and the 80s and all like that, I need you. I need you. I need you to come on and uh, and talk about your experience, how different it was back in the day versus how it is right now, man. Let us know uh, the difference between, you know, E-Laws. How, how was it running E-Laws? How was it when it was running as a brotherhood? How long... How how was it when it was running when you guys ran convoys? How was it when we was able to help one and out one another out? Come on, I need you. You can uh you can get at me for booking at lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Definitely come on the show and share your experience about how it was back in the day, man. I need you. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and hit that all to get notified whenever I drop a video. Now, I drop videos daily, uh, every other day, every, well, I drop videos every week, all right? So, I'm being consistent with you guys. If you like, if you, if you like it, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it share the video that helps the channel everything helps the channel period you know let youtube tell it everything helps the channel all right uh don't forget to uh don't forget to like i said don't forget to subscribe you know what i'm saying i i appreciate it and when you subscribe make sure you hit that all uh don't forget to check out the uh the mtc calls uh don't forget to check them out definitely come back for another episode of uh responding to comments you know what i'm saying i'm doing something different every day i got truck driver interviews uh i got the podcast going i i got it all so if you guys want to you guys like something like this come on back and hang out with me i will also be doing live feeds as well so i'm rambling i know i'm done i'm out you guys take it easy and i'll come back at you guys with another video Say la vie. Yeah, yeah.